Michael Chavello ringside with my verbal sparring partner, the former Australian champion Mark the Hammer Castanini, and make his way to the ring. Originally based in Holland, now fighting out of the underworld gym, right here in Melbourne town, it's Danny Manapasa. Well, Michael Danny Manapasa is a very, uh, from what I can gather, very tough competitor. So uh, he's certainly going to give this one a shake up. Big show, big opportunity for this for this uh, support fight. And make his way to the ring from the Melbourne Martial Arts Centre in Melbourne. A super welterweight who's really going places. They call him the Dragon, Paul Lee. Well, Paul Lee, never short of excitement when he steps in the centre ring. Absolute thrashing machine, Michael. He gets in there and he has a go. Also making his debut in the corner, Ange Gooses. Now there's a name for the past, the Ange Angel Gooses Ange now. Gooses back in one, action, one of, one of the head trainers down there at Melbourne Martial Arts. Welcome to Ange Gooses in the corner with Paul Lee. Nick Talakouris, the thunder kick also in the corner Angel there. And Julian Belzano also there. All the boys from uh, Melbourne Martial Arts preparing Paul Lee a treat. Let's go to Andy Raymond. And uh, tagged up a couple of times. Big overhand mm. ride from Paul Lee. Manapas met that one with uh, the front of his face. Well, he might right, have been doing a quick right, count right. of his teeth after that one. Danny Manapasa, Jamal Hassan breaks up both men. 45 seconds down in the third round of action. Step up front, kick to the midsection there, and then one off the other leg from Paul Lee. Turns it around with the right hand. Manapasa just back treading yet again, Hammer. Manapasa, Manapasa there with the uh, red shorts. Paul Lee, the uh, bluey purpley colour. Paul Lee is uh, certainly working a treat. He's keeping uh, his guard nice and tight now. He was a little bit open in the first round, but now he's doing it nice and tight, and he's starting to put it all together well, Paul Lee. Nice snappy right hand there from Paul Lee. Manapasa ties him up and turns him around. Goes for the high right knee to the head. Jamal Hassan about to separate both men. They tie up against the ropes. And there's a separation. Third round, 1 minute 15 down. We've only got 45 seconds to go in this stanza. Paul Lee really trying to unload with that big right hand, the big looping overhand right. If he lands it flush, Manapasa is starting to get a little bit tired. That could that be the one that uh, puts Paul it away. Oh, as Lee just spins Manapasa around. End of the third round of action. We've got one more round to go, Hammer. Well, Paul Lee coming back on that one for sure, Michael. Uh, he put it all together a bit better in the third round. First round, Manapasa, second round. Pretty much even third round down the lead. It's going to go down to the fourth and final. It's still uh, nothing in this one. All right, relax. Let's go. Breathe first. All right. Close, his, close your eyes. All right, get ready. Deep breath. Hold it. All right, I want you to wake up, pal. Yep. All right. This round is the it's last round. round. Right. Only one in the ring. Only yeah. one in the ring. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. This is your round. I want you right. to work this round. Put... Okay, now. Once again, you see Manapasa going for the high kick. Paul Lee straight up the middle took Manapasa out. You see Paul Lee uh, happy with the work he just did. Uh, Manapasa squaring up. Again, nicely timed front kick from Paul Lee. The front kick, probably one of the most underused but most effective kicks in the, in the martial arts, I believe. And the fighters that can perfect that kick work it really well and also uh, do a lot of uh, support to their uh, game plans. The fourth and final round. Well, here we go in the fourth and final round. Both men touch gloves and we're underway. Michael Chavello ringside with the hammer, Mark Castanini. Paul Lee again opening up explosively. It's anyone's for the taking, folks. Nice thing to the midsection there from Paul Lee. Just ramming the kneecap into the breadbasket of Danny Manapasa. Manapasa ties him up. Hammer, I think I just like saying Manapasa. <laughs> What's your name? I think you just like talking, really, Michael, but that's another whole other story. And... Uh, the boy's starting to tire a little now, and you'll see the grappling start to be favoured because they're starting to clinch up, grapple up, and uh, grappling is uh, very effective, but you still, have, you still have to have a bit of sting. Nice uh, hip, hip turn there from Manapasa. Manipulated the, the uh, body weight of Paul Lee well, spun him off, didn't um, capitalise on it by finishing with a knee, though. Folks, if you've just joined us, we do have Ernesto, who's set to face Mark Hunt in the first semi-final. Right! 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 And Mike McDonald against Matt Skelton in the second semi-final. That's the K1 World GP 2001. And it's all brought to you by Tarek Solik and the K1 Corporation from the Vodafone Arena, Hammer. Vodafone Arena down here in uh, Melbourne Town. If you've just joined us, should have should have joined in earlier because uh, you've missed some great KOs and some uh, You missed one of the all-time great KOs when Mark Hunt absolutely sent Hiromi Amada into next week with the most stunning right hand we've ever seen. Oh, he cracked his head like a walnut. Like a walnut. Like a walnut. Unbelievable circumstances. 
and happenings here in Centering. Paul Lee and Danny Manapassa now really turning it on in the final moments of this, the fourth and final round. And of course, one of the biggest upsets in K1 history did occur tonight when Mike McDonald from Canada, a completely underrated fighter, knocked senseless Mirko Krokop. Well, Mirko, uh, of course, uh, one of the most accomplished fighters on the circuit. That's a, that's a stunning upset victory, and I'm sure that that's going to reverberate all around Japan. 40 million viewers Ten will be seconds. watching this one back in uh, Japan. Oh, he's tagged him! He's tagged him! The straight left hand from Paul Lee! Danny Manapessa hits the canvas! Six! Six. Manapessa oh, knows uh, that he might have Manipasa, lost the fight there. I'll tell you what, that's the count that could have possibly co cost Danny Manapessa the fight. Paul Lee just that, pulling that one out of the bag right at the end. And uh, the Dragon, once again, Paul Lee, put in a, a fine performance there, got stronger as it went along, started a little bit rigidly in the first round, but uh, as he loosened up in the last big overhand right there, short short left to finish it up, Mandapasa was stunned from the overhand right, that the uh, the left jab or the left uh, punch was uh, just a sealer, bang, overhand right, again from Paul Lee, he was uh, favouring that technique all the way through, landed it convincingly, Stunned uh, Manapasa and then just the left just uh, finished up the uh, the job that he had uh, started. There it is again from another angle. He missed with the first one, got his range back for the second one, stepped up cleanly, and uh, Manapasa. Unfortunately, he was looking very clean. He was moving very well. His knees were very uh, very well uh, moving, but uh, nevertheless, Paul Lee, I'd say, uh, may have just pipped the post with uh, with that eight count. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecard on the first occasion of tonight. We have a unanimous points winner from the red corner, the Dragon, Paul 